This is the Functional Rehab Podcast with your host, Dr. Ashley Mack. Welcome to the first episode of the Functional Rehab Podcast. I'm your host, Dr. Ashley Mack, and I'm so glad that you're here to join us for this amazing journey that we are going to set together. A little bit about me, I've been a physical therapist since 2012, and my specialty is actually helping individuals, particularly busy adults, navigate pain, surgery, injury recovery, and the world of rehabilitation. I am also host of the number one sciatica podcast called the Fix Your Sciatica Podcast. So if you are dealing with sciatica pain, low back pain, or issues like that, you can check it out by just typing sciatica into your local podcast platform. Now, the purpose of this podcast is to focus on actually educating you listeners outside of the rehab world, um, how to actually navigate the rehabilitation process. Because rehabilitation itself, it's a very, very broad spectrum. We have injury recovery. So if you were to tweak your back, your knee, any sort of activity that doesn't require surgery, how can you actually navigate the aches and pains that you feel without the use of medications or surgeries? But then also on the other end, in the event that you actually do in fact need surgery after months or trials of actually going through conservative care, there are going to be some scenarios where surgery is going to be the best option for you. Now, during that time, it's going to be a very overwhelming experience. You're experiencing pain. You know that you need surgery. There's probably going to be a hundred thousand different things that you need to do when it comes to getting yourself prepared for surgery themselves. And what we're going to do is actually explain a bunch of various different surgeries so that you are informed and understand what you're getting yourself into, but then also the necessary steps and making it digestible and actionable for you to be able to get yourself as prepared for your surgery as possible. The next part of that is actually going to be addressing what to do on your surgery day. There's going to be a lot of moving parts, what to expect. So then that way you can go in with confidence, knowing that you are well prepared for your surgery. Once you've gotten your surgery, we're also also we're also going to be talking about the post-surgical management. So when it comes to rehab, the physical therapy aspect, the occupational therapy, or even some of the speech and language therapy that you need to do depending on the level of your injury, surgery, or procedure. The goal of this podcast is to actually educate you and walk you through the steps that are necessary to help you heal and recover. And the fantastic thing about rehabilitation, again, because it's so broad, we're going to take a deep dive into orthopedics, which is going to be the bone and joints. We're going to look into the spine, which is something that I have a t- uh, concentration in. But we're also going to look into some pediatric rehab, neurological rehab. So if you're someone who's dealing with a stroke or know someone who has a stroke, you're going to be a little bit more informed. So then that way you have an understanding of what you're dealing or what your friends, family, or loved ones will be dealing with as well. And so what the way that we're going to be approaching this is actually going to be through not only some solo episodes with myself, but also some interviews with some key experts across the various healing fields. So let's start off. We're going to be talking with doctors. Doctors, we're going to go in the orthopedic space, the pain management space, the digestion space. There's so many different physician concentrations that are out there. And rather than go just to the surface level and just share with you a couple bullet points of what these professions are, we're going to take a deep dive in helping you understand what these physicians do. And that way it helps reduce some of the confusion and also improve some of our understanding of these various different fields. We're also going to be interviewing chiropractors. Now, uh, if you've probably seen across the internet sphere that there is an invisible turf war between chiropractors and physical therapists, I have no idea why that happened, but Ultimately, we both exist to help people just like yourself. And so I'm going to be interviewing a number of chiropractors so we can talk about the shared experiences and shared desire to help people. But then we're also going to discuss the differences between the professions. So then that way we know the things that we can help out particularly, but then also the deficiencies, which would require the assistance of another professional. And so from there, we're going to be also interviewing other physical therapists. My main state or my main concentration is going to be pain management, spine and orthopedics. 
but there's also a large area of physical therapy that often gets untouched. We can talk about women's health. We're also looking at pediatrics, neurology, and all these other different aspects of the rehabilitation field, which then leads into interviewing occupational therapists, speech therapists, anyone who's going to be part of the recovery process. And we want to make sure that we're getting the perspectives of all these different professions so that you, the listener, are actually able to be educated and informed of the entire rehab process and how you can recover. I'm also going to be interviewing Eastern medicine healers as well. So acupuncturists, Reiki therapists, people who are focusing specifically on energy and traditional Chinese medicine. I think that there's a huge place of these professionals in the healing world. And over the next couple of years or the next couple of decades, I actually foresee a really great merge between Eastern medicine practices and Western medicine practices, which I think will actually help out patients, especially in regards to their recovery. And I'm also going to be looking at other healers. We're going to be interviewing coaches, various different other professionals who are interested in helping people recover and feel better across the entire spectrum. So it's going to be really exciting because we're going to be able to interview the entire range of healers and helpers. So then that way we can, again, inform you. And the goal is to focus on actually providing deeper insights than the general online searches. I want to go beyond the typical bullet points that you'll actually see when it comes to actually being able to improve uh, your recovery, your rehabilitation process, and also even just life post pre and post recovery and how to live your life moving forward. So let's talk about the main goals of this podcast. Number one, we want to focus on empowering you, the listener, and the way that we can empower you on a podcast like this is through by providing you knowledge as well as action steps. There's a lot of information that is out there. So why would you listen to a show like this? Because not only are we being able to take a deep dive, but also giving you some key action steps to make it a little bit easier for you to both one, understand, but also two, um, engage and understand what is going on when it comes to the whole rehabilitation world. So I encourage you all, if you have a question or an area that you would like to be addressed, you can actually send all questions uh, about this podcast or things that you would like to hear at ashley at dragonphysicaltherapy.com. That is my physical therapy practice, but also I, that's where I field a lot of the questions. And then also, if you haven't done so already, please follow and rate this show on your local podcast platform because your support really helps us grow this channel so we can help out more people. And from there, I'm so thankful for your support and your future support, and I cannot wait to share all this information with you. And if you'd like to hear more information in regards to how you can work with us, check us out at ashleyjmac.com, and I'm going to put the link into the show notes. No patient-therapist relationship is formed by listening to this podcast. We are not providing medical advice and all information should be confirmed by a medical provider.